I have a TSP. Okay. And I'm still working and plan to work another eight to ten years or so. But I was wondering, um, is it possible to actually transfer money into a like account while I'm doing while I'm working? Would that be beneficial or would that be considered a, a withdrawal? Are you over fifty nine and a half? I am not. So So okay. I don't think that that's not my number, but I think that's generally the rule that some of the agencies use um, before you can start transferring it out. Okay, okay. I heard you mention 59 and a half, and I thought it was like maybe a withdrawal. Well, it is that too. That's a penalty where you withdraw, but that seems to be the the magic age that they use, that IRS number of 59 and a half. So, I I mean, it would be worth a phone call to Human Resources Mm -hmm. And say, you know, at what t- point can I move out some of my TSP? It's worth a phone call. They should know that off the okay. top of their head. And I would do that and ask them. And if they say uh, an age and width in which you are now and that you can do that, then yes, it would be worth you moving uh, at least three quarters of that out. Into a IRA account, you would have to move it into another IRA account um, and roll it into that and begin to get biblically responsible and manage that uh, and having the reason why I would want you to do it is not because you're going to make a lot more money or it's going to be better. It's just because you're going to have more control. And if things get bad, control is going to be everything. You're going to wish you could do certain things. And so I, I want I just want you to have the control that you'll have in that. Right now, your only fail safe is to go into the G fund, you know, put all your money in the G fund. So, I mean, that's something that you can still do. And that's not a bad thing to do if things start to uh, really turn down. That's a good thing to do. But you don't have any other options. So I just want you to have the options. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.